Keep the applause going for uh, Jordan Clark and Tommy Atkins, uh, two of the seven. Well done, Jordan. Take us back to when you were just trying to get drafted. How many hours were you doing in the car during the week with mum and dad? Uh, yeah, so I was living a fair way out of Perth and mum and dad were driving nine hour round trips, sometimes three times a week. So um, big effort from mum and dad while I lay to sleep in the passenger seat. So There was no help from you at all. You slept the whole way. Yeah. And Tommy, so many years in the VFL, you know about Best and Ferris, a couple of the Best and Ferris there. Did you think you'd ever get to this level? Uh, no, nah, not really, to be honest. Yeah, um, it was always never really a possibility for me. But um, yeah, thankfully, there was a bit of an opening in the, in the senior team. And um, I had sort of the, the skills, I guess, that the team needed. And um, yeah, luckily enough, Wellesley picked me. Take us back to round one. What do you remember? Who told you you were playing and what uh, did you feel heading out onto the G? Yeah, I, was, um, I think it was a week leading up to the game. Um, sort of been training with the senior team uh, leading up to it. Wasn't too sure what was happening, but um, there was a, a group of the coaches that um, called us in one by one. And uh, yeah, I just remember going in and um, Scotty, I think, said, you know, you'd be playing for us on Friday night. And um, yeah, I gave out a few hugs that I think weren't too well received by a couple of people, but um, uh, it was a great moment for me, um, something I'll always remember. Who weren't huggers? Uh, to be, oh, I think Boris was one. Corey Enright was like, nah. No, it was actually Wellesie, yeah. I went, I went to hug Wellesie, he's like, nah, I'm not a hugger, mate. I was like, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Come on, Wellesie, start to hug. What do you remember about not one? Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Um, Did you hug anyone? Nah, no hugs. I um, don't give hugs, funnily enough. Um, You're going to have to hug him in a moment, just get him into it. I was more, oh, like a bit surprised and said thanks and uh, sign of walked out. So I was, <laughs> I was pretty happy. How many young men have taken a hat trick for Australia in cricket and debuted against the Pies on a Friday night? Good question. The answer is one. Yeah, probably, probably just me, I'd say, yeah. <laughs> How is the bowling arm? It's the left arm you've heard, isn't it? The bowling arm's okay? Yeah, so it's just the left arm, so I'm yet to run it past Lloydy. I've mentioned a few times if I could play a game this summer, but he's not too keen of it, I don't think. He's just over there. No. Yes or no, Lloydy? That's a thumbs down, isn't it? That's, yeah, a thumbs down. Yeah, okay. Did you want to take us through the hat trick? Um, yeah, right, so there's... Uh... <laughs> So it actually was four wickets in five balls. So the, there was a wicket, <laughs> dot ball, wicket, wicket, and the hat trick. So um, clean bowled a bloke on 130 for the hat trick. <laughs> Who wins the best and fairest tonight? Who wins? Um, I reckon Tommy Stewart. What about you, Tommy? Uh, it's probably Paddy for me, yeah. Okay. Do you want to hug Jordan? Just show him how it's done. Oh, uh, I think it's...